I also rise today uh, to uh, this month mark the dedication of 40 years since the death of Marjorie Mason, a woman whose life was filled with so much promise and purpose. In 1978, Marjorie was soon approaching the graduation at Fresno State. She had a job she enjoyed um, working for the National Economic Development Association. She was committed to serving others and surrounded herself uh, with the support of family and friends. That was until her life was cut short by a brutal death. At the age of 36, Marjorie was heinously kidnapped, abused, and murdered by her ex-boyfriend at his Fresno home. To celebrate her life and continued legacy, uh, the folks in Fresno uh, dedicated the Marjorie Mason Center, which was founded in 1979, to provide victims and survivors of domestic violence a safe and supportive environment. The center offers long-term safe housing, legal assistance, and educational opportunities, crisis support, and counseling to victims and their families. It is in constant need. The center offers long-term safe housing. For decades, I've been working hard to end these horrific crimes plaguing our community and the nation. Over 10 years ago, Congressman Ted Poe and I founded the Bipartisan Victims' Rights Caucus in the House of Representatives to give a voice to victims of domestic abuse and other crimes uh, that occur on a national scale, sadly. The Violence Against Women's Act, VAWA, a piece of legislation working to improve responses to domestic violence, is one of the major initiatives the caucus works on to protect and reauthorize and expand the needs for this sad uh, occurrence around our country. In my district, we have several organizations, including the Central Valley Legal Services, Choice Women Empowerment, Central La Familia, Valley Crisis Center, addition, in addition to the Marjorie Mason Center, working nonstop to provide safety and support of domestic violence and survivors. I'd like to thank Marjorie Mason's family for their continuous support and commitment to expanding the mission of its center over the past 40 years former Sheriff Steve McGarrian, and so many others who continue to contribute uh, to this important work that this center does. Four, domestic violence is still sadly prevalent in every community, affecting more than 10 million people each year in the United States. We must continue to fight to ensure that no one in our valley and our nation suffers the same fate that Marjorie Mason faced. And we must continue to work together to end domestic violence once and for all.